got to put on my flannel because it's time to film a video and I always wear a flannel for some reason. Hi guys and welcome to the first video in a series that I'm doing and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking to you, person who didn't watch my last video, a dog has appeared. Basically I'm going to be posting videos every day this week um, with some kind of informative watercolor theme to them so I have a bunch of different watercolors to test out. I bought some new ones to show you guys. Um, I have some cheaper ones, I have some more expensive ones. I'm gonna try out watercolor paper, I'm gonna try out pens that you can use with watercolor, and just all that good stuff. Just lots of informative videos about watercolor. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this series, and in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out the Prong Prang watercolors. This set, I got this at Hobby Lobby for $6, and so, I've heard good things about these and I thought I would test them out and give you guys my official opinion review on them and hopefully this helps you out. So the set comes like this, you just flip it open and it has your eight paints, five mixing trays and a brush and the paints also pop out in case you want to make your own little set in an Altoids tin or if you need to replace them. So now it's time for swatches. Just as a side note, I'm using this brush, it is a master's touch brush that I showed in a recent art supply haul. It is one and a half flat brush and I got it at Hobby Lobby and it's super soft. So I did these swatches on Canson watercolor paper and I have to say I am really really impressed with how they turned out. I showed you three different variations of each color so I added more water as the page went to the right. And just that was just to show you how each color would look as it got lighter. And the only thing that I would have to criticize these paints for is that they do have this little speckly texture in some of the colors where the paint hasn't fully broken down and this could just be a side effect of me first activating the paint. This is the first time they ever got wet. They definitely didn't show up that much in my finished picture and there's something that didn't bother me that much. It's just something that I thought I would include. For the final demo of this review, I thought I would use Strathmore watercolor paper, 300 series cold press and it is 140 pounds, so it's pretty thick. I cut my paper down to 5x7 and taped it down with this blue non-sticky masking tape so that my paper doesn't tear. I went with Cars 3 fan art for this little demo at the end of the video because I had just seen the movie and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to do some fan art for it. My sketching process in this video is very similar to what it has been lately. I just used my blue color erase pencil to get the rough sketch of the characters and make sure I got them right and then I finalized those lines with a black micron pen. I just wanted to point out how beautifully these paints blend. Uh, you can see like in the base layers of the cars and the reds and yellows how they just blend really nicely together and even in like the the scene that I built around them with the browns and the greens blending together and yeah I just think they blend and layer really nicely. Now to showcase a little bit more of the range of colors that this set gives you because the two characters are primarily red and yellow so it didn't really get to show off the full set. Um, I added a background and I did some layering with the ground. You can see that I just added kind of a wash at first and then I went back in and added some more details. For the final details I just went in with Prismacolor Premier colored pencils just to add extra depth and highlights and to darken the lines since the watercolors did cover them up a little bit. That is it for my Prang watercolor review. I did watches, I did the Cars 3 fan art. All in all, I really like these paints. I think they're just a nice little cheap paint set to have with you just uh, for traveling, for carrying around in your bag or something. Definitely if you're sketching on the go and you don't want to worry about carrying around an expensive paint palette, only $6, if you just want something small and cheapy that you can use for experimenting and traveling and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's going to be another video tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow for another watercolor video. I'll see you later. Bye.
Okay, as much as I loved Cars 3, there were so many things that were unexplained. There's just, I have so many questions about that movie. First of all, why are there, why are there young cars? Who makes the cars? Chris who brought this up the other day. Like, do the cars have babies? Is there a factory that all the cars come from? And what happened to those two little girls who were obsessed with Lightning McQueen? They're just gone. Now there's a little boy. Did they grow up? Do cars grow up? How do they get bigger? 